draw in is the is the opening the crown for the thousand. We got opening the top. You when you learn this one, you're gonna use the big draw for so for all the practice from now on. If you stick with the thousand, you're gonna do a lot of opening of the head. Okay, in a thousand in the olden time. They try to opening the head very soon, open, and uh, and a lot of muscle result in quick death. They open too soon, yeah. And after a few thousand years, they started to develop, and they started to discover that they no need to open the head too soon if they don't want to go. See, the opening the head is when when you develop a body to a very solid. You need a crack open the head to go out. To leave this world. Now, so they discover that you can proportionally expand the head. So instead of open this way, they open this way out. Okay. So they open instead of open on the top, boom, shoot out this way. They open this way out. So when you practice the thousand for a while, your head gonna get bigger on the side, and the back, and the top. And in the moment of death, many people in the moment of death, they're going to open itself. That's what they discover. Because the energy has to go out. And the energy all come back to the head and so much intense. But if you practice it daily, when you want to open it, boom, you go. Because the energy is more concentrated in one place. So the practice you're going to do now in a while with the cranial exercise. We call it cranial bone exercise. Uh, one of the cranial adjust, a uh, cranial and the circum adjustment. The specialist he come from England, and his student a lot come into the class and study with with us, and tell him that you must come and study. So he said, I have to come. So we met in the Boston. He come to take a class, and very interesting. He said, Now, really interesting. He said, I. I can see that really the people can do something for themselves. He have to adjust the head and to squeeze the head and all these things in order to activate the cranial. But what you do now exactly activate the cranial and your head gonna get bigger and memory gonna increase. Yeah, absolutely we know that is energy gonna increase. And uh, and if you believe in the esoteric part and now we make it so simple. Believe me, we make it so simple. There are no mysteria. That one, you get the energy form, and you know you expand the head. If you want to, go, in the moment of death, you can go. There's a way to go. Okay, and the thousand being involved with this problem, written down in history is four thousand eight hundred years. None written in history is 8,000 years. We've been deal dealing with this problem that long. At least we are one of the experts. The first thing we're going to activate the palates. So your tongue, you're going to put the, the bottom, the, the lower part of your tongue. So here is your teeth. Here is the lower teeth. So here is your tongue. You put the flat part of the tongue on the top, and put the tip right on the bottom. So you clench your teeth, press to the roof of the mouth, and press down. Okay? You will activate the palate. You will activate the palate. Okay? So now, the tip of the tongue down, the flat part up, and clench your teeth, push up to the palate, this cranial needs adjustment. <laughs> okay, so you press your tongue this way up the roof of the mouth. Okay, let's do it, everybody. Sit up properly. Now, press your tongue up. Exhale. Now, we're going to activate the temple bone right on this side. The temple bone. 
The temple bone can be moved by itself individually. I'll show you. This uh, the piece of bone can be activated. Right on the side here. Right in the, in the ear here. Okay? The temple bone. So put your hand on the on the side here. On the side here. Cutting the teeth. Releasing it. When you do the cranial adjustment, some people get experience headache. Because too much energy and expand your head, it's okay. Unless you have serious problem with it. It's a very, very powerful energy activate. But the way you follow me is very safe because of my costume. Let's combine together. Tongue. Teeth can. Exhale. Now you're adjusting two pieces now. Now on the back here of obsidian of put bone run the back here. It this piece because when we are breathing, the brain is activate like squid, you know, like exactly like squid moving. Now you're going to tilt your put your chin to the back and up this way. Put your hand on the back, tongue, teeth. Chin. Exhale. Now, the next bit is the right on top of the head, crowd here. The problem is this. The way to activate this top, if you look at the eye, the eye inside, the, behind the eye, have the fluid, the brain fluid. And the brain fluid flow inside the brain, flow inside the brain also. So you see the eye, you can look right through inside the brain. All right? See that? Right through inside the brain, you can look through it. Now, from here, from here, read right through it. So the way to do is, if you inhale, pull your eye in, inhale, by squeeze your anus and pull your eye in, and turn your eye, look up, pull your eye in. So let's do it first, pull your eye in. Aware your anus, contract your anus, Inhale, pull your eye in. Inhale, look up. You will feel something press right into the crown. Exhale. You see here, the whole, the whole procedure is this. Your eye like a ball, and a lot of fluid inside the back of the eye. That, that's how the eye can, can flow in, and, and nutrition. So you, you can pull your eye in, because there's so much muscle inside. By contract your anus, and inhale, pull your eye in, and turn your eye, look up. You press and increase the fluid right on the top of the brain, or into the brain. When you're into the brain, you're going to press to the top. And when you're releasing it, you activate the brain. Okay? Let's do it one more. Let's combine together. Are you ready? Tongue, teeth, chin. Anus, inhale, pull in your eye. Inhale, roll your eye, look up. Hold it, exhale. Now use your mind to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Activate the, cre the, the head. And you can touch your paws. Use the hand to touch your paws and feel the pulsing in your head. Boom. Pum, pum. You might feel something real inside that pulsing. Actually, real inside that pulsing. Okay, the next one we're going to do the muscular pump. The muscular pump in here. Okay, so when you do, they discover that the vein, artery, and the energy flow between the the body. And we, when we do, when we squeeze the muscle into the bone, and squeeze the muscle, you activate the pumping action. Because when you are sexual around, there's so much energy go out. Want to go out, because the nature we've been doing it for long, and it's going to go out. And you have to use all force to pull the energy and bring it up. This whole important part. So the exercise you do now is one of the very powerful internal exercise. 
Okay? So, what we're going to do now, the whole problem you're going to get, and you have to be aware all the time, is the chest. It's the chest. So, I show you first, just watch me. So, when you do tongue, teeth, chin, eye, hand, squeeze, but relax the chest. This is hard, but you have to absolutely aware of it all the time. If you do like this, you're going to get trouble. You know, you're going to get trouble. If you are promised and guaranteed to get problem. Okay? If you do this, way, all the energy draw right into your chest. And energy stuck into your heart and stuck into your liver and you get mad. You know, get anger so much. So much energy right into your organs. But if you do this way, relax the chest, tongue, teeth, chin, eye, hand, leg, okay? And that's all. Squeeze the leg, squeeze the hand, and hold it, exhale. Okay, let's do it. Tongue, teeth, can, chin, push back, anus, eye, pull in, inhale, pull up, look up, inhale, squeeze your hand, inhale, squeeze your leg, Relax your chest. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, the next piece, the next piece is in while your, your buttock here. You have so much muscle there. Now, so what we're going to do, we're going to squeeze the buttock and up a bit. So you look at me, it's going to be like I go up from the chair. But the power is squeeze my buttock and then up a bit. So, tongue, teeth, chin, eye, hand, leg, buttock. Exhale. Is it? So let's do it together. Tongue, fist, can, chin, push back and up. Now, I pull in, your anus pull up, and now I look up, inhale, squeeze your muscle into your bone, in the hand, relax the chest, inhale, squeeze the muscle in the leg into your bone, inhale, squeeze your buttock, exhale, good, we, we get a preparation now, so inhale, we're going to, when you finish every time the big draw and orgasm elbow draw, you need the barrel breathing. We call fanning the fire. Okay? So we get it now. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to do in the, uh, in the orgasmic upward draw. We talk about lady first, okay? So later we're going to talk about man. Lady first. In this exercise, in the, uh, in the Tesco and Vajana, uh, or the ovarian breathing, you involve with non-arousal sexual energy. Now, you're going to involve with arousal sexual energy. But you need to be exercise your sexual organs. Okay. Now, when we talk about exercise, sexual organ, you're going to, huh? <laughs> uh, in the beginning, when I first start teaching American, some people feel very strange. What exercise? The sexual organ, for what? Huh? But American is so crazy about exercise. All the goal and the purpose of exercise, they want to look sexy. This is a funny way, that they want to look sexy, but they don't practice the sexy past in the body. <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> and uh, it, it, it's just like, sometimes you cannot understand, it's a very simple thing, right? You want to sexy, what makes you sexy? So in a thousand, they discovered that a few thousand years ago. If you want personal power, you want healing power, if you want creating power, if you want sexy power, is right in the sexual organs. The sexual organ is part of your organ, 
if you don't exercise, and who gonna exercise for you? <laughs> That's one thing, you know. And it's so important. In the olden time, they discovered that a lady, when the sexual organ is so loose, they get off. And the whole best kept secret, the best kept secret is when a lady have very tight and strong sexual organ, vagina and, and ovary, they will get so young and beautiful. And that is the best kept secret so long. Now, the same as men. When man's sexual organ is loose, or not tight, or testicle is loose, and no energy in the sexual organ, they get old. It's too well kept secret. Extremely secrecy. That's why the people are so missing of it. <coughs> because the sexual hormone is the only one that make men active like men, and uh, sexual hormone for lady is the one that make lady active like lady. That's all. See? So, the first exercise is involved with arousal, the sexual energy. And the exercise that we're going to do now is involved with arousal, the sexual energy in men, also involved arousal, the sexual organ, the, the penis. It seems like the word that people have been missed conception so much, like masturbation, all right? It seems like you play around or make arousal of the sexual organ, and it's like masturbation. But the worst masturbation is men make it dirty. Many great holy men, great master, they did it. 